just hits right in between right back and middle back. Very hard for both of those defenders to communicate and get to that ball efficiently. Beautiful and smart swing by her. Carlin, Carlin Francis will continue her service run.
maybe with the tip. Great dig return by Juju Davenport. And the David to the middle. And the hit is out. Another point for the Monarchs. They now lead three points ahead of the Titans. The Monarchs substitute outside hitter Lauren Burden back in the game. We're hitting error by Stella at Jamie. They, the South loves to run that combo play with her in the middle. It's dangerous. Turned by Medic. Overpass. Glazier's to the outside. And a kill for Glazier! That's an impeccable, impeccable kill. She's got great angle, great aim, and it went just off the knuckles of Kenzie Durstad. Glazier slams her first kill of the night and her 210th of the season. She is crazy for Monarchs. Hickey serves shape return by Adami, and that is an ace for Reagan Hickey. Gorgeous serve by Reagan Hickey. She has a really good float serve, and it landed directly in front of that passer. Return by Adami, and Adami to the outside. Returned by Francis. Lauren Burden on the outside. And Lauren Burden with her first kill of the night. Yet again, another timeout called by Papio South. Papio South looks a little frazzled tonight. Oh, it destroyed that ball. Hit 
big right in between left back and middle back, which would be Clasier and Francis. She killed that ball. Charlie Sullivan now back to serve. Returned by Glazier. And Lauren Bird with the pass to Verdi, who tips it over the net. And Weavers to the right side. Burden with the return. Over to Sis on the outside. Cammy Deerstad with the return. Over to Medic.
gives the Titans the lead. The Titans have been able to take advantage of the Monarchs' errors, and they now have the lead in this match, 22-21 Titans. So back to my question. This match tonight has been so good between both of these teams. Do you think it's because of the rivalry or the fact that they're both top five? I honestly think it's both. Like, let's talk about how the Titans are number two seed and the Monarchs are number four seed, but that doesn't stop them from having that brewing competition of their rivalry, no matter what seed they are. Even if one of the teams is unranked and the other is, there's still that rivalry over who wants to be the best, who wants to come out on top over the year. And I think the Monarchs this year have had a fantastic season. They are fourth seed, which is unbelievable, which is their highest ranking in the last five years. And set, they are 17 and five so far this season. South is also having a fantastic year, going 21 and four, placing in the top five of almost all of their tournaments. And they have a huge one this weekend that ESPN is broadcasting. Olivia Broderson has the service error, and that gives the Monarchs another chance to regain the lead. Carlin Francis is up at the line for the Monarchs. Serving error will tie the match and let Papio's best server go to the line. She has 30 aces this year. Lauren Medic with return. Deerstad over to Bodie. And Hickey over to Sis. And assists with the, another kill for the Monarchs. Beautiful sequence by the Monarchs there. Mia Tiverti with a block touch. She gets it up. Reagan Hickey with a gorgeous set out to an assist. Great play. Carlin Francis with another is for ace for the Papillion La Vista Monarchs. That is her second ace already so far tonight. It will give the Monarchs set point. Shank returned by Medic over to Livingston. And that is a block by Mia Tiberti. And the first set goes to the Papillion La Vista Monarchs, 25-22. Mia Tiberti lined up, jumped so high, pressed her hands over the net, and got the stuff to win the first set of the match. Now, even though that set was great between the two teams, it also had a ton of errors in it off of both sides. Combined, they had around eight service errors between both teams. What do you think they can do to clean that up? I think with serving, it's just about the mindset. If you have the right mindset and you don't let the pressure get to you, I think you do just fine at serving. And I think all these girls do a fantastic job at serving. Broderson, Cami Deerstad, Kyla Deerstad. They all do great on the Titan end. And Beckenhauer, Francis, and Kylie Gilbert and Cindy Masunas have all done a great job on their end as well. I agree. Serving and volleyball overall is a very mental game. If you're down, you're going to be down. You got to find a way to bring yourself back up, which both of these teams did wonderfully. The Monarchs taking the first set of the game was quite unexpected. Do you think that they could take another one, or do you think the Titans will have enough energy and enough stamina to bring it back to the second set? Oh, the Titans are not going to stay down in this match. They're going to come back bigger and better than ever and take at least one set from the Monarchs. Now, the Monarchs aren't going to take that either. Watch this set go to, excuse me, watch this match, probably go to four or five sets just because of all the energy in this building tonight and how talented both of these teams are. I agree. That's what's so special about this rivalry and this rival rivalry in particular. Both teams are just so special. They have so much energy. They don't want to be beat. And even if they get beat, they shake that one off and they go right to the next one, even forgetting about that loss. And I think that this rivalry as a commentator, as a fan, as a coach, as a teammate, is just so fun to be a part of in the atmosphere that we are in because both teams are here to fight and they are here to win. I agree, this atmosphere is absolutely electric. The Monarchs brought their band tonight to light up this room. South showed up with their student section, and so did the Monarchs. 
Get ready for a dog fight. Here comes set two. the line to start the game for the Titans is Charlie Solomon. Glazier with the return. Hickey over to Burden. And that is another kill for Lauren Burden. That is her fourth one of the night. She is tied with an assist for team kills tonight. Lauren Burden with a great read. The block was late, so she just tooled right off of it and got a kill on the outside. Carlin Francis will now go back to serve. Medic to the outside. Great dig return by Francis. And that's a free pass over to the Titans. Over to Bodie with the tip. D another great dig return by Francis. And Mia Taverdi with the tip. It goes outside. And the Titans have the ball yet again. Both of the defenses were very good at reading the hitters on that play. Carlin Francis saw Morgan Bodie's tip. And likewise, on the other side, Mia Taverdi just sent it out. Lauren Medic now back to serve. And Lauren Medic with the ace for the Titans. Just off the four fingers of Morgan Glazier. Lauren Medic dropped that ball right in front of Lord Morgan Glazier. Great serve. Another serve returned by Glazier and Lauren Burden to the right side. Returned by Solomon and Medic to the back row. And an attempted receive by Morgan Glazier and that's another kill for Lauren Medic. Great hit by Lauren Medic. She has so much power behind her swing. She will now go back to serve. She is looking for And assist with the hit, returned by Solomon. And Shaley Weavers to the right side. With the tip to Francis and to Verdi with another tip. And her tip is out again, giving the Titans another point now with a three point lead. Mia Taverdi keeps trying that deep left corner and is pushing it out. It's a really good shot. She's trying to be very, very smart. Glazier with the return. Hickey over to Sis with the attempted tip. Off the hands of Bodie. Another point for the Titans. You can now start to see the Titans really bond together as a team and just keep the ball on the Monarch side and let them make the errors, which is very smart. The Monarchs just need to come together a little bit more, get some energy. Taverdi down the middle. And you could hear the hands of Taverdi hit that ball but it goes so far right that it is out. That could have been such an impeccable potential kill for Taverdi. That would have been just dangerous. Priscilla Peterson makes the right call and gets a timeout for her team before they get down by too many points there. Peterson is actually an alum of Papillion La Vista. She was first team All-State in 2015 and went on to play at Midland University where she holds countless records there as a middle blocker. As a Papio alumni, she is just bringing the tradition to the team to be an awesome coach and an awesome friend and supporter for all these girls to make her, to make their, to make her girls one of her own. She also teaches business at the high school, so she connects with so many students. And not to mention, it's her first year as head coach, and so far she has done very well. She is such a positive coach, but she also knows exactly what to say to get her team right back in it. Blazier with the return. Hickey over to Sis, and a Sis with another kill down the middle. And that is her fifth kill of the night. 
and assist. Puts a dent in the floor on that one. She got out there and she ripped it right in between middle and left back. Gets a really good side out for her team. Julia Davenport now back to serve. A Davey with the return over to Bodie, and that's Morgan Bodie with another kill. That is her fourth of the night. That was just too fast before I could even blink. Bodie with the gorgeous line cross shot. Super hard to defend. She got up there and she just ripped it. Really good shot. Francis with the return. Hickey over to Tiberti. Transitioning over to the right side with a kill down the left. That connection between Hickey and Tiberti is just unmatched. They work so well together. Tiberti and Hickey ran the slide beautifully. She read the defense, hit it right in front of middle back. Gorgeous play by her. Set by Solomon over to Weavers, and that is a, a recover by Julia Davenport. That was great effort by her on the defensive side, but the Titans get the point. Tiverti down the middle with the tip, and Tiverti with another point. That was a very smart play by Tiverti. The middle at the net was not prepared for that. Tiverti with a smart tip to get her fifth kill. She will now go back to serve. A Damie with the return, and Deer sat over to a Damie. And that is Stella Adami's four, first kill of the night in the second set. That's very surprising for that to be Stella Adami's first kill of the match, considering she and Lauren Medic lead their team in kills and attacks. She is dynamic on that outside. Watch her light up later. Carlin Francis with the return over to Glazier. And that's another kill for Glazier, her fourth one of the night. Once again, Glazier with a great kill out to left back. Defense could not read where she was hitting, so she got a kill. Reagan Hickey will now go back to serve. Tammy Deerstad with return. Medic down the middle. Bounced off the floor of, by Medic. You could hear that ball echo throughout the gym. That was just one you do not want to cross. Medic destroys that ball to get her seventh kill right in between the end line. Woo! What a swing. Francis with return. Leisure over to the right side. And Kyla Deerstad's dig return goes over the net back to the Monarch side. Kyla Deerstad over to Medic on the right side. And her hit goes out. The Monarchs now have a chance to bring this four point, the Titans four point lead back to a close. Uncommon hitting error by Lauren Medic. Kylie Gilbert will now go back to serve. She has no aces this year. She's looking for her first. Kenzie Deer side with the return and Medic with the tip down the middle. Smart play by Medic. Harlan Francis could not get to that ball. Wonderful tip by Medic right in front of the 10 foot line. Carlin Francis read it, just could not quite get the pancake. That was Medic's eighth kill of the match. Francis with the dig return, and that is an ace for Charlie Solomon. Great serve by Charlie Solomon. That'll get her her first ace of the night. And 27th of the season. Sis to the outside. Another day for Anna Sis, another kill. That is her sixth one of the night. Right now, Anna Sis is the player 
for Monarchs. She has six kills so far. She gets up so high, swings with all of the power in her arm, and gets a kill. Medic with the return. Tolleman over to Weavers down the middle. And Sis to Zaverdi. Deerstad over to Medic. Great dig return by Reagan Hickey, but Morgan Bodie with the overpass kill. Great read and hit by Bodie. She was able to see the court, pick a spot, get up there, and destroy the ball. Amazing play by her. The Titans are up 13 to seven. Lauren Medic will now go back to serve. Carlin Francis with return to Birdie down the middle. Recovered by Kenzie Deerstad. Sis to the outside, and that is a block for Bodie and Shaylee Weavers. What a pass by Kenzie Deerstad. Even though it was over, she got that ball up, and that was insane. So the Monarchs are down by seven points. How can they fix that? Well, any team, they've been down like, they've been down this far before and even farther, but I think they have a chance to bring it back only if they have more communication and just utilizing their back row a little bit more because I know for a fact that Morgan Glazier is so active and so good in the back row and the Titans are reflecting that by using Lauren Medic in the back row. So I think that her teammate Morgan Glazier on the other side could be used. I agree, both of these teams have so many weapons they can utilize, and South is just doing that better right now. Speaking of teammates, Lauren Medic and Morgan Glazier both play on the same premier team, as well as Reagan Hickey, Mia Taverdi, and Morgan Bodie on Titans. And last year, they got third place in 16 open at Nationals, which is crazy for any team whatsoever. Big accomplishment by those girls. Solomon's return by Glazier, and Anasis' hit is blocked by Bodie, but it slips off the hands down the net. Anasis pushes that ball right into the block. They weren't pressed over all the way, so it went in between their bodies and the net, which is very hard to cover, so it got her team the point. Julia Davenport will now go back to serve. Turned by a Damie and a Damie to the outside with a powerful tip, and it is in. That was an incredibly smart eccentric play by Stella Adami with that powerful tip just inside the line. Adami tips and scores right to that end line that Mia Tiverti was trying to hit earlier. Great and smart execution by her. Carlin Francis with the return. Sis over to Morgan Glazier on the back row. And Solomon over to Adami. Off the hands of Mia Tiverdi, and that is another kill for Stella Adami. Stella Adami is really starting to heat up for South. That's her third kill of the match. She has such a strong and powerful approach, which gets her vertical up super high and gives her a lot more power on her swing than most people. She is such a natural athlete, and it's really great for South. Mia Taverdi with the tip down the middle. And the Titans could not recover from that one. The Monarchs get the point with the chance to bring the game back to their side. Mia Taverdi scores on a tip off of her block cover. Senior Reagan Beckenhauer will now go back to serve. Medic with the return. Ava Green down the middle. Great return by Reagan Beckenhauer off of Green's hit. And Morgan Glazier's hit is blocked by Shaylee Weavers. That is Weavers' fourth kill of the match. Kyla Deerstad to serve, returned by Francis, Glazier over to the outside with a hit just over the outside line, and Papio South now has the ball again. Now leading nine points against the Monarchs. 
while Glazier was hitting, her hand was under the ball and not on top, which caused her to not be able to snap her wrist, which is why the ball went out. Attempted dig by Julia Davenport off of Carla Francis' shanked pass of, Ke of Kyla Deerstead's serve. The Titans are really good at taking advantage of you when you are down and not talking, which is exactly what they're doing right now to the Monarchs. Carlin Francis is set over to Reagan Hickey, and Reagan Hickey set over to Mia Tiverti was a double hit. Great block by Green in the middle. She will put her team up by 11 points and five away from winning the set. Kylie Deerstein back to serve. Returned by Julia Davenport. Mia Tiverti to the right side, returned by Chloe Livingston. And a Damie with a bullet down to the right side. That was faster than the speed of light. That was just incredible. What do I try to? Stella Adami absolutely demolished the ball on that point. Awesome hit. Hickey to Glazier. And Glazier's hit is in. That is another kill for Morgan Glazier. The Titans defense was fooled by that one. Morgan Glazier gets her team a side out. Titans are up by 11 points. Mia Tiverti now back to serve. Medic with the return. Kyla Deer set over to a Damie. Great return by Mia Tiverti, but that is another kill for Stella Adami. Stella Adami has come alive in this set. She now has five kills, and they were all in the second set. She is on right now for South. Tammy Deerstead is now serving. Returned by Reagan Beckenhauer. Hickey over to Glazier. And Kyla Deerstead over to Chloe Livingston. And that is a kill for Chloe Livingston. That is her third kill of the night for the sophomore. Livingston hit the ball right in between the block of Vitera and Hickey. Great spot and great read. Francis with the return. Hickey over to Glazier. Another one for Morgan Glazier. That is her sixth kill of the night. Glazier once again with a smart shot right into the deep left corner. When hitters hit there, that forces left back and middle back to cross. And that's very hard to do. Medic down the middle. Returned by Hickey. Francis over to Vernon, who hits it over to Cammy Deerstad. Chloe Livingston to the outside. That is a block by Lillian Bittera and Lauren Vernon. Chloe Livingston with a hitting error. There was no block on that play. Reagan Hickey now back to serve. Lillian Vitera with the overpass hit off of Kenzie Deerstad's return. That was a very smart move by Lillian Vitera because she is tall enough to make those overpass plays at the net. Lillian Vitera may not be the tallest, but her vertical is absolutely insane. She gets up so high and uses both of her hands to just shove the ball right down to the floor. Lauren Medic with the back row return. And that is Lauren Medic with the 24th point of the set. The Titans now have the serve for the set point. Set point for the Titans. Let's see if Boderson can put this one away. And that is an overpass kill for Bodie, giving the Titans the second set. This match is now tied. Both teams have, have winning one set apiece. The Titans, this set, have had an even bigger and larger lead than the Monarchs did on the Titans in the first set. South came in and took advantage 
of their communication errors hitting and hitting errors, which is exactly what they needed to do to get back all the momentum and keep it and run with it. I agree, and let's talk about Lauren Burden. She has been outstanding tonight. Four kills as one of her first varsity starts of the game. She has just been awesome, and she has been catching my eye on the Monarch side. She has been on the right side most of the time, and I think she is doing a great job. She is so essential to this Monarch team, and I think in the third set, she should be staying in. I agree, Lauren Burden is a dangerous weapon when she is set. She gets up with her athletic body and she hits the ball very powerfully. The band will bring even more energy into this building with On Papillion, which is the Monarchs' fight song. Once again, the rivalry between both of these teams is so dynamic and often cutthroat. Both of these teams will do anything within their power to win, which involves playing very aggressively and they fight hard. South has been very successful at state the past three years, making it to the championship every year and winning twice. The core of this team has been together, often playing varsity their sophomore or freshman year. They flow so well together on the court, and you can really see that. They will make that run again this year. Carlin Francis at the line for the Monarchs. Medic with the return, and Deerstad over the Medic with the tip. And that is a block by Mia Tiverti to get the Monarchs the first point of the set. Lauren Medic got blocked, and then as she was covering, hit the ball right into the antenna, so it is called out of bounds. Kyla Deerstad with the attempted tip, but it is a lift. Lift call on the Titans, so Monarchs will get their second point of the match. Carlin Francis will continue her service run. Deer set over to Medic. Great return by Reagan Hickey. Francis with the free pass. Deer set over to Morgan Bodie with a tip to the right side. And that point goes to the Titans. That was an incredibly intelligent play by Bodie because nobody was there on the right side. She knew exactly where to go and where exactly to put that ball. No one was reading Morgan Bodie on that play, so she tips it in the perfect spot right on the left side of the court. Burn into the right side, blocked by Medic and Bodie. What a block by Morgan Bodie and Lauren Medic. They press right over and blocks Lauren Burden's tip into the floor. This will give setter Charlie Solomon an opportunity to serve. Francis over to Hickey, over to Mia Tiverni. Straight down the middle, almost a straight line down the middle. That is just insane. Mia Tiverni with a rocket off of the block and down. Amazing kill. Julia Davenport now back to serve. Damien with the return over to Medic off the hands of Mia Tiverti. Mm -hmm. 
and a double hit by the Monarchs, which gives the Titans another point. The Monarchs had the cover. They were just called for a double. It, this will tie the third set. And Lauren Medic will now serve. Francis with the return. Hickey over to Mia Taverdi, and her hit is blocked by Stella Damian Morgan Bodie. That block was loud. I could tell that one would hurt. What a block by Morgan Bodie out of the middle. Mia Taverdi hits with so much power that that ball was going right down, and absolutely no one was getting to it. She also read where Mia Taverdi was going to hit, so it makes the block even better. Icky over to Sis, return by Medic. Stella Damey to the back right side, and it is in. Another smart kill by Stella Damey. Stella Damey with a rare hitting error. She'll get the next one. Regan Beckenhauer will now go back to serve. Solomon over to Adami with a tip through the hands of Hickey and Tiverti. Adami got the next one with a tip right over the block and down. One of the best tips you can do in volleyball is just directly over the block because it's so short that the back row players have a really hard time getting to it. And the outside on the opposite who is covering also can't get to it. Hickey with the back row set to Tiverti on the right side. Solomon over to Damey, returned by Beckenhauer. Hickey over to Glazier. Solomon to Medic on the back row. Great return by Juju Davenport. And Glazier with the hit error gives the Titans another point. Julia Davenport with a great pass off of the grip by Medic. Morgan Glazier just had a hitting error, so it'll, it will result in a Titan point. Kenzie Deerstead, who has been fantastic tonight, is now serving. Carlin Francis with the pass to Hickey, and the Hickey set over to Tiberti is good for another kill by Tiberti. Mia Tiberti with her seventh kill of the match. She is now serving. Tiberti with a serve error to the net, giving the Titans the lead back. Service error will give the Titans their seventh point. Setter Kyla Deerstad now back to serve. Hickey to Glazier, and her hit is out over the head of Kyla Deerstad. Morgan Glazier was looking for a touch off the block on that hit and just did not quite get it. Kylie Deerstad back to serve again. Beckenhauer with the return over to Hickey and Hickey to Glazier. Great dig by Kenzie Deerstad. And a block by Hickey and Vidra goes out, giving the Titans another point. Adami will use Vidura and Hickey's block to get her seventh kill of the match. They were not pressed over in the middle, so she hit right into it, and it went out of bounds. Hickey's back set over to Lillian Vidura, and that is a hit kill for Lillian Vidura. Vidura will also use the block, this time just pressing right into it so that the ball goes in between the net and the, and the players. Two smart shots by two great players. Deerstad over to Livingston, and that is a double hit by Kyla Deerstad. The gorgeous pass by Lauren Medic will unfortunately be wasted on a double call on Kyla Deerstad. Reagan Hickey back again to serve. Deerstad over to Medic on the back row. Great return by Carlin Francis. Hickey over to Glazier, Glazier on the right side. Kylie Deerstad over to Adami. 
Hickey over to Glazier. Kill between. Kill between Kenzie Deerson and Lauren Maddock could not be retrieved. The defense tonight by both of these teams has been some of the best I've seen all season by both of them. They read the hitters, they get to their spots, they get their feet set to the ball, and they just hold out their platform, and it goes right up to both of their setters. Outstanding job. Kyla Deerson and Medic again in the back row with the short hit over to Glazier. Glazier again on the outside. Free pass by Damie over to Francis. Hickey over to Glazier again with a great dig by Lauren Medic. And Damie on the outside, a stellar block by sophomore Lillian Vitera. Huge block for Lillian Vitera. That gives the Monarchs a ton of energy and they are now tied in this third set. Reagan Hickey back yet again to serve. She is on a service run. Kyla Deerstad over to Stella Adami. Francis over to Glazier with a great save on the Titan defensive end. Back set sets over to Burden with a block off the hands of Adami, but the, hit, the, the block is out. That gives the Monarchs the lead now. A one point lead and a timeout is called by Papio South with the Monarchs now having the lead against the Titans. The energy in this building is absolutely electric. Coach Katie Tarman called a timeout just to get the tight girls head back in the game because they have lost the game with the Monarchs now having this, the serve. But I believe since they are the defending state champions that they can bring the game back. One of the main reasons the Monarchs are on a run right now is because of Reagan Hickey's jump float serve, which is one of the hardest things to do in volleyball. She hits the ball so it flows right down and it curves at the very end, landing right in front of the defenders. And because her serve is so good, it's pointing south out of system, which is getting free balls for the Monarchs. Deerstad over to Chloe Livingston in the middle. And another one for Chloe Livingston. This time her kill is down the middle. And that gives the Titans the tie ball with the serve. Living still with a great kill that Beckenhauer could not quite get to. Kimmy Deerstad is now in. One of three Deerstad sisters on the South team, and they are amazing in the back row together. Francis over to Hickey, Hickey over to Glazier. Return by Kenzie Deerstad, Chloe Livingston with the hit, and it goes out. The Monarchs now have the lead again, and they have the serve. Chloe Livingston's hitting error will put the Monarchs up by one point. The momentum keeps shifting in this match between the two teams. It makes it really competitive and fun to watch. Kylie Gilbert will now go back to serve. Kylie Gilbert with another service error. She is now subbed back out for Morgan Glazier. One of South's best servers, Olivia Boderson, will now go back to serve. Glazier with the serve receive. Francis over to Sis. And Anna Sis's hit was just short off the net. And the Titans get the point back. No block on that play. Anna Sis hit into the net. It will put the Titans up by one. She just needs to time her approach a little bit better to the ball, and she'll have the next one. Olivia Broderson with the return. Medic down the middle. And that is another kill for Lauren Medic down the middle. Lauren Medic smacks down her 10th kill of the match. She is so athletic and powerful, and she will continue to do so next year at South Dakota. 
Olivia Broderson serve retrieved by Blazier. And Anna Sis on the outside with another kill for the Monarchs. Great kill by Anna Sis. That's her eighth of the match. Tapio's best server, Carlin Francis, will now go back to serve. Carlin Francis' serve tipped over the net to the Titan side. Mia Tiverti down the middle. Great dig by Kyla Deerstad. And the Titans get the ball back on the great defensive end. Lauren Medic is not only so athletic, but she's also so smart. Her volleyball IQ is out of this world. Knowing that that ball was going to be tight and that the Monarchs were going to be there to block it, she just got up, swiped it right off their hands and out, getting her team an automatic point. Hickey over to the birdie down the middle, off the hands of Kenzie Deerstad. And that is another outstanding kill for Mia Tiverti. Mia Tiverti is absolutely outstanding in the middle. Monarchs get so much production because of the connection between her and Reagan Hickey. They've been playing together for three years now, club and school. Davenport serve retrieved by Kat, Cammie Deerstad. Hickey over to Tiverti with the tip. Cammie Deerstad again with the receive. Shaley Weavers to the right side, and that is a block by Mia Tiverti and Anna Sis, but their block is out. That is Weavers' fifth kill of the match. And considering she's only had about nine swings, that is a fantastic ratio for her. To terminate that efficiently for her team, they need to get, they need to set for more. Laser over to Hickey, over to Tiverti with the tip. That was a very interesting tip by Tiverti. It's almost like she's a little leapfrog with her knees bring up and she has that tip. She just springs on up. It's a really good sign to see the Monarchs start to use Mia Tiverti a ton. She is their leading hitter in more ways than one. Morgan Bodie's hit goes out, gives the Monarchs the tie and the, and the serve. Bodie with her first hitting error of the night. It will tie the match at 15 apiece. Reagan Beckenhauer is now serving. Solomon over to Adami. Adami with a tip, which looked like a hit, which definitely fooled the Monarch defense. The Titans now have the ball back and lead the game. Stella Adami is really good at fooling the defense with how powerful and strong her approach is. She acts like she's gonna get up there and hit the ball so hard when in reality she just does a little roll shot and it really fools the defenders. Julia Davenport with the pass over to Hickey. And Mia Tiverti's hit over to the Titan side is in. Correction, the line judges called it out. That gives the Titans another point. And the Titans now have a two point lead. The Titans, Libero, Kenzie Deerstad will now go back to serve. She's such a leader for them, both in the back row and as a team. Carlin Francis with the receive. Beckenhauer over to Glazier. And that's another kill for Glazier. On the right side, off the hands of Kenzie Deerstad. Morgan Glazier gets her eighth kill of the night. She will set up Mia Tiverti's serve. Solomon over to Weavers and a uh, impeccable block by Lillian Bittera. What a stuff by Lillian Bittera and Morgan Glazier on Shaley Weavers. What a fantastic block. Reagan Beckenhauer with another serve error. Her ball goes out. And the Titans now have the serve yet again. That is the Monarchs' sixth service error of the match. Kylie Deerstad now back to serve for South, who are up by one point, 18 to 17.
Lila Deerstead at the line for the Titans, having a chance to stretch this lead out. Hickey over to Glazier. Return by Kyla Deerstead, and the Monarchs get the point. Kyla Deerstead's pass was just a little too tight on the net, and there was nothing Livingston could do with it, so she hit it into the antenna. Regan Hickey now back to serve. Kyla Deerstead over to Adami. Regan Beckenhauer with the return. Back set over to Lauren Burden. And that is a block by Ava Green and Stella Adami. The Titans will block Lauren Burden on her attempt at right side. Once again, all three Deerstadt sisters are in the back row with Cami Deerstadt serving. Hickey over to Burden on the outside, and her hit is out. Papio South now leads by two points. Burden's hitting error will put the Titans up by two points, and that will cause Papio de Vista to, cause, to call a timeout. We are right back where we are in the second set, but this time the Titans have a shorter lead with 20 to 18. This set is very similar to the first. Both teams going back and forth, switching between having great plays and miscommunications. They both want this match so much for their team and their community because it means to, to this means so much to so many people on both sides of the ball and in the stands. I agree, this rivalry has been going on for years and it is still alive and well. And this is probably one of the most exciting games of volleyball to watch of the year for Papillion La Vista and Papillion La Vista South. As, we, as they are closing out the third set, this match is bigger and better than ever. Glazier with the return, Burden over to Carlin Francis. Kenzie Deerstad, Morgan, Lauren Medic down the middle, and that's another kill for Medic. Off the hands of Reagan Beckenhauer. Lauren Medic with a very mature swing, high, flat, off the block. You see that a lot in college, so she'll be doing that a ton next year at South Dakota. Excuse me, in two years at South Dakota, she is only a junior. Hickey over to Glazier on the right side. Something out of the ordinary with Morgan Glazier kill this time on the right side. The Monarchs will run a combo play with Morgan Glazier on the right side, which is what you normally see with South. So it's very interesting to see them pull their own tricks on each other. <laughs> Kylie Gilbert now back to serve. Gilbert with a great serve over to Cami Deerstad. Chloe Livingston to the outside. And the tip by Lauren Burden and Lillian Vettera is out. The Titans now have the three-point lead and the serve for a chance to close out the set. What a hit by Livingston, who recognized that the block was a little late on that play. She just hits it right in between the net and the blockers. She'll put her team up by three points, and they are three away from winning the third set. with the short set over to Vinera. Medic over to Livingston. Hickey over to Sis on the outside. Dig by Kyla Deerstad. And the Titans could not get the ball saved. The Monarchs now have the serve again for a chance to bring the, bring the game back. Anna Sis's ninth kill will come off of a powerful tip right into left back. They could not quite get it and she'll pull her team within two points. Livingston and the hit is out. The Monarchs now down one and they have the serve. This is going good for the Monarchs. It's time for the Monarchs to take advantage of these errors and put a run together to close out this third set. Carlin France with the service error giving the Titans the serve back.
one of South's best servers, setter Charlie Solomon, will now go back to serve. Shalini needs to serve two points for her team in order for them to win. Hickey over to Burden. Burden with a nice tip over to Cammy Deerstadt. Morgan Bodie down the middle with a great save by Carlin Francis. Solomon over to Medic. Another great return by Glazier. Sis on the outside. Dig by Cammy Deerstad. And the rally keeps on going. Another dig by Glazier. And Mia Tiberti finishes it off. Finishes the rally off with a Monarch kill. The Monarchs now have the serve back, and they are down by just one. That was such a prominent play for the future Duck. What a rally by both of those teams. The defense and hustle was outstanding, getting pass after pass and up after up. Mia Tiverti ends it with a solo block in the middle. Juju Davenport at the line. Over to Medic. And Solomon to the right side to Bodie. And Mahoney's hit is out. The game is now tied at 23 23, and a timeout is called by Papio South. The Monarchs are on a, the offensive side, on the best side that they could possibly be ha to have a chance to close out the set and win the set. The Monarchs are on a run right now. Their passing has been fantastic. Their hitters are smart, and they can read where the defenders are on the court, and they can see. South has also been doing very good. Their hitters are strong and powerful. They just need to connect a little bit more on their passing. Side out quick, get another point, and then you take the third. Julia Davenport is at the line for the Monarchs, and the pressure is on. She is an outstanding server, and I think she can close out this set. She will not let the pressure get to her, and she will just do her thing. She has 17 aces this season, which is incredible. Let's hope that she can continue this run and close the set out. All right, let's see what Davenport can do. Final two points of the set here. Kimmy Deerstad with a dig over to Medic. Off the hands of Carlin Francis. And Lauren Medic gives the ball back to the Titans for a chance to retrieve the set point. Medic ripped a kill off of a beautiful pass by Kimmy Deerstad. That gave Medic an, an opportunity to get up and get that kill. The Monarchs will now call a timeout. As the Titans are at set point. Mackenzie, I'm quite literally on the edge of my seat right now. This is the most intense set I've probably ever seen. Timeout, back-to-back -back timeouts for the Monarchs this time. With the Titans now having the ball. I don't know how this game is. I don't know how this set is going to turn out. But either way, for both teams, it's going to be great. I agree. These coaches are telling their girls to calm down, settle in, and focus. They need to band together for these final points of this third set. Maybe Coach Pearson is telling them to run the middle with Mia Taverdi, and, Tar and Katie Tarman is probably telling South to run the outside with Stella Adami, or a back row with Lauren Medic, who is now serving. Both student sections getting fired up for the set point. Hickey over to Taverdi with the tip. Great return by Solomon. And Maddox with the kill to get the set point for the Titans. The Papillion La Vista South Titans get the second, the third set. And their second set to one against the Monarchs. What a third set that was. Both of those teams hustling to every single ball, getting their passes up, and the headers being dynamic. They played very clean in that third set also. 
I agree. This game has been so, so fun to watch. Both teams have really battled it out through grit and glory. And even though the Titans have come out on top, the Monarchs are not finished yet. Going into set four, I believe that with power and determination that they can make the set theirs and they could possibly win the set and bring it to five. The Monarchs have to win the set if they want to play a fifth. And South, if they win the set, they win the match. Coach Peterson is probably telling her team to get more production out of your hitting, both in the middle and on the outside. Their passing and serving was good that set. Katie Tarman is telling her girls to keep up what they have been doing. With their overall communication and passing, they also know how to finish a set and a match. taking the whole three-minute break to, the, to her advantage to get the Monarchs back in the game and to get the, get, get the girls in the right headspace because that's really the only thing they need in order to play a good set. This fourth set will be so close and hard fought between both of these teams. Neither are going down without a fight. They will stand their ground, say, we came to play, and they will. Once again, this will be another dogfight between both of these two teams. The hustle and playmaking will be there. Everyone, settle in and prepare yourself for an amazing fourth set. As the line judges are switching, the players are huddling on their court, giving each other pep talk as they're getting ready to start this fourth set. Sophomore Charlie Solomon is now serving. Hickey over to Burden. And that is a block by Lauren Medic. Swift it over to the right side of the net. And the hit goes out. The block of Bodie and Medic will give South their first point. Charlie Solomon will continue serving. Hickey over to Sis. Back to back blocks for Morgan Bodie and Shaley Weavers. Once again, South's block will give them a point. The Monarchs are just hitting directly into it. If they can change up their shot selection a little bit, They'll be able to get around that block. Carlin Francis with the overpass over to Lauren Medic. Hickey over to Sis. Solomon over to Weavers on the right side. Hickey to Vitera down the middle. 
Kenzie Deerside with the dig. Francis over to Lauren Burden on the right side. Solomon over to Medic. And Medic with another kill to end the rally. Both of those teams were often out of system during that rally, which means that the setter has to go down and chase the ball and use their platform instead of their hands to set their hitters, which often gives the hitters not as good of a set, which means they can't swing as powerfully, which is why that rally was so long. Charlie Solomon gets an ace for South, and they are on a 4-0 run. Hickey over to Sis. Off the hands of Bodie and Weavers. Medics to the outside. Dig by Morgan Glazier. Sis again to the outside. And Solomon with the dig. Hickey over to Vitera down the middle this time. And Vitera gets the kill and slips off the hands of Lauren Medic and Morgan Bodie. Vitera gets her third kill of the match with a, which a, with a very common hit that we've seen tonight with the ball going right in between the net and the blockers. Carlin Francis will now go back to serve. Solomon over to Medic. Returned by Hickey. Francis over to Sis. Solomon with an attempted active tip, and it's hit down. There was a back row attack called on the Titans because of the good yet tight pass by Stella Adami. It will give Carlin Francis another opportunity to serve. Medic with the hit to the right side over to Sis. Lauren Burden over on the right side. And that is a standard kill, a standard hit for Lauren Burden. That is her fifth of the night. Good save by Reagan Hickey getting a great ball up for Lauren Burden to hit as she executes and gets the kill. Solomon on the right side, the Weavers, off the hands of Mia Tiverdi, but it is out. So the Titans get the set, get the point. Morgan Bodie with a mature shot off of Mia Tiverdi's block because she was just a little late getting there. Charlie Solomon was able to fool her with her set. Hickey over to the birdie down the middle. Just straight down the middle. What an incredible hit for the future duck. Great hit by Mia Tiverti. She gets up so high that it's very easy for her to read the defense on the other side and she can see that the middle back and right back players were not in their spots. So she just hit it right in between them and it got her a kill. Solomon over to Adami. Dynamite block by Mia Tiverti and Reagan Hickey. Oh, the things I do to be Mia Tiverti right now. She is just insanely athletic. And her talent is being recognized by so many, including the University of Oregon. She'll be blocking a lot of people in two years when she gets there. Julia Davenport back again to serve. Solomon to Bodie. And that is a double hit by Charlie Solomon, giving the Monarchs the lead now and the serve. Double contact called on Charlie Solomon there. We'll put the Monarchs up by one point. Julia Davenport will keep serving. Julia Davenport with an ace tipped off the net. That was a short serve, and that is her first ace of the night, giving the Monarchs a two-point lead and a timeout called by the Titans. What a service run by Julia Davenport. Like Rick and Hickey, she has that dangerous jump float serve, which gets right in front of the defenders and drops. That time, it was so low, she hit the tape and went over, which is also a great serve. That serve by Davenport 
felt impossible to just execute. And she did it so well. It's so hard to do one of those trick serves where it just tips over the net because it's very hard to test whether or not how far your serve is going to go. So uh, an outstanding job on Juju's part. Those trick serves happen once every 50 that you get back to the line. Those are so hard to do, and she executed it perfectly. She put her team up by two points, seven to five Monarchs. Solomon to Medic in the back row. And Medic's hit is out. Julia Davenport will continue her serve run to give the Monarchs a chance to take a large lead. Uncommon miss by Lauren Medic in the back row. It was awesome for them to go to her, though, because it mixes up who is hitting and it confuses the defense in the back. Solomon over to Weavers on the right side with a block by Anna Sis to the right side of the net. And that gives the Titans a chance to come back as they now have the serve. What a hit by Shaylee Weavers to get her team the much needed side out. Kenzie Deerstadt now back to serve. Reagan Hickey with the free pass over to the Titan side. Ava Green with the kill. Unexpected kill by Ava Green as that is her first of the night. Ava Green gets a great kill on the outside off of a gorgeous serve by Kenzie Deerstad that got her team a free ball back. She put the Monarchs out of system and it resulted in a kill for the Titans. Carlin Fritz with the overpass. Sella Davey with a tip over to Glazier. Oh, Tiverti with the missed tip. And a point goes to Papio South as they now tie eight to eight. Now, Mia Tiverti jumped so high that if the ball is set even just a little bit off her shoulder, she can't get to it because she's already in the air. So that connection between Hickey and Tiverti has to be perfect in order for them to be on. Hickey over to Sis. Solomon over to Adami. And that is a block by Tiverti and Hickey. Great redemption off the air between Hickey and Tiverti last point. Great block once again by Mia Tiverti in the middle. That is her 53rd of the season, which is an insane statistic. Beckenhauer serve return by Medic. Shaley Weavers on the outside. And that's a kill by Weavers off the hands of Julia Davenport. She has had six, kill, six kills tonight. That is incredible. Excuse me, she had seven kills tonight. Julia Davenport with the return. Over to Glazier. And that is another kill for Morgan Glazier. She now, that is her 10th one of the night, double digits. She now leads the Monarchs in kills. Dangerous server, Mia Tiverti now back. Her team is up by one point, 10 to nine Monarchs. Kylie Deer set over to a Damey. Dynamite kill hits the light. The Monarchs did not retreat that ball. That was a great dig, however, by Reagan Beckenhauer and great communication and attempt by Tiverti. That one was just, I don't even know how to describe that one. Incredible. Cammie Deerstad is now at the line to give the, the Titans a chance to take the lead. But she gets the serve error and the Monarchs have the lead now. Reagan Hickey will now be at the line to extend the lead. Kimmy Deerstead rarely misses. Her ace to service error ratio is 17 to 13, which is very good. You want to get more aces than errors. But she has done that by more than a few. Monarch service error will give, will tie up the match and give the Titans another chance to serve.
Glazier over to the right side. Returned by Kyla Deerstad. Broderson over to Medic. And that is a kill by Medic with one of Broderson's first assists of the night. What a hit by Lauren Medic right on the end line to fool the Monarchs that it was out. Broderson backing in to serve. Highly on Coleman, assist by Broderson. Burden with the free pass, and that is an error into the net, giving the Titans now a two point lead. Burden missed the free ball over the net. The Titans are now up by two points. Let's see if they can take it and roll with it. Hickey with the back set over to Glazier. And that's another kill for Morgan Glazier. That was Morgan Glazier's 11th kill of the match. And she also has a very strong hitting percentage, hitting 348 on the season, which is great for an outside because they get set a lot. And so to terminate at that clip, beautiful. Deer sat over to Medic with a swift tip over to Hickey. Birded on the right side, dig by Kenzie Deerstad. Chloe Livingston on the outside. And Carlin Francis with the hit return, but it goes out. Hitting error by Libero Carlin Francis. Barely out of bounds, just on the line. It will put the Titans up by two as they go back to rotation one with Charlie Solomon serving. Hickey over to Glazier in the back row. And her hit is out. She reached a little too far back because she wasn't at the right angle. If she was at the right angle, that would have been dangerous. And a timeout is called by Papillion La Vista for a chance of Coach Peterson to bring the girls back in the game as they are down by three. The Monarchs have started committing a lot of errors as of late. They just need to clean up their hitting. Use the energy that they have left in their body, get up, snap their wrists, and pound that ball right to the floor. And South is doing a good job of taking advantage of those mistakes and keeping their lead. in this building is still very good and very high for both of these teams. Charlie Solomon is only a sophomore, which is very amazing considering she is such a good setter. Hickey over to Sis. That's another kill for Anna Sis down the right side. And there you go, there's the kill that the Monarchs needed. And assist gets up, snaps a wrist, hits a right to left back, and they cannot pass it up. Solomon over to Weavers, and that is blocked by Mia Tiverti and an assist, but the Titans retrieve it. Medic with the free pass over to the Monarchs. And that is a... Regan Hickey crossed the top of the plane. Oh, excuse me. The South Titans crossed the top of the plane. As the setter is setting the ball, the middle on the, on the opposite team cannot go over and knock the ball out of her hands, which is what happened on that play. It gives the Monarchs their 14th point, and they're down by one. 15-14 Titans. Mia Tiverti has the Mia Tiverti has the same error that the Titans did, which now gives the Titans the serve back. Two back-to-back -back errors. One that will give the, the Titans a side out. 
Lauren Maggie serving. Hickey over to Vernon on the right side. And it is out. The Titans now have a three-point lead. And Lauren Medic has the potential to stretch this lead out. Once again, another hitting error by the Monarchs. If they can clean that up, they'll be right back in it. Only down by three. Hickey over to Anasis on the outside. Dig by Kenzie Deerstad. And Damien to the outside, blocked by Lauren Burden and Mia Tiverdi, but their block is out. Stella Damien gets her 10th kill of the night off of a smart shot using the block of the Monarchs. The Titans now push their lead to four points. 18-14, the Monarchs have to win this set if they want to stay in this match. Hickey over to Tiverdi, off the hands of Morgan Bodie. Tiverdi again with the tip. Solomon over to Weaver's on the right side. And Weaver's hit goes into the net. The Monarchs now have the chance to bring it back as they have the serve. And up at the line will be junior Ju Julia Davenport. Julia Davenport went on a run early in this set. Let's see if she can do it again with her dynamic jump float serve. Solomon over to Damie. And that is a kill for Stella Damie to give the Titans the ball back. Stella Damie knows when and where to get a kill for her team. That crushed almost all the momentum the Monarchs had, and as a result, they are now calling a timeout. What can the Monarchs do to pull themselves back into this fourth set? I think communication is t key. Their offense is doing great. Their defense, it could be spiced up a little bit. They are doing a great job at blocks. They just aren't going off their hands in the right way, and they are going out, which seems pretty uncoincidental for the Monarch side. But other than that, it's only a four-point loss. They've come back like this before. I think they can do it in this game. If Coach Peterson just keeps their head in the game, and they're able to retrieve the serve and get the ball back. I agree, they need to settle in and use whatever energy they have left that is in this gym and in their bodies. Even if they're tired, they gotta pull it together right here. It is now or never for the Monarchs. Kenzie Deerstad will continue serving. Julia Davenport with return and assist to the outside. Dig by Lauren Medic. Solomon over to Adami. And another straight down the middle kill for Stella Adami. That one could not be recovered by the Titans. And the Titans now have a five point lead. Stella Adami gets up and absolutely slams the ball. Monarchs cannot return. Titans are five points away from winning the match. The Monarchs look like they are running out of steam. Slowly and slowly, they need to come together right now and use their team compatibility. Kenzie Deerside now serving. Hickey over to Sis. Solomon right side to Weavers. Davenport with a great return. Sis again with the tip. And the tip is out. Lauren Medic with the attempt that could have been hit if she was just a tad bit closer, but the Titans still have to serve as they now lead by six, seven, excuse me. In the past, and serve receive was better that time by Carlin Francis. Maybe they should try going to Mia Tiverdi out of the middle. Hickey over to Tiverdi, and that's a kill for Tiverdi. Opening doors for the Monarchs to bring the lead, to bring the set back. And they did go to Mia Tiverdi in the middle, and she got them a kill. Reagan Beckenhauer needs to keep her serve and get a run for the Monarchs if they want to win. Six, 
Solomon over to Adami, and Adami's hit is out. But it is tipped off by one of the Titan defenders on the back row. So the Titans now have the point, two points away from the match point. Stella Adami with a two stupendous swing on the outside, hits those hands off the block. And even though the ball was out, she got the touch. Laser to the outside, dig by Medic. Kenzie your side with a free pass. Mia Tiverti down the middle. And Medic to the back row. And Medic's hit is out. The Monarchs now have the serve back. Papin La Vista, do they have a chance to bring the game back? Serving at the line, Mia Tiverti. Let's see if she can make it happen. Medic with a dig return. Hickey over to Glazier in the middle. And Glazier's hit is out. The Titans now have the ball back. That was a wonderful potential hit for Glazier. If only it was just a little bit inside, that would have been deadly. Hitting error will set up match point for the Titans. Hickey over to Glazier. Kyla Deerstead with an attempted return and Morgan Glazier gets the kill. It is still match point for the Titans. Any error could make or break the Monarchs. The pressure is on as Reagan Hickey is at the line for the Monarchs. It's time for Reagan Hickey to use her serve and get her team a point. Kyla Deerstead over to Medic down the kill. And the Titans pull out the win against the Pavilion of the Monarchs in three sets to one. That, what a game for both teams. The rivalry continues as Pavilion of Vista takes the win. 21 wins against Papio in this rivalry. That is their eighth win of, out of the past, excuse me, seventh win out of the past eight matches. That is the end of the game, folks. Thank you for watching and tuning into PLV Media. Have a good night.